A study conducted in the United States discovered that of all driving distractions, text messaging takes one's eyes off the road for the longest amount of time. This is because it requires visual, manual and cognitive attention. In case you aren't familiar with these types of distractions, I can be on the screen for you. So why is this relevant? A combination of these three distractions means that a text driver takes longer to detect and respond to an event, and it impairs their ability to anticipate and avoid hazards. It is for this reason that text driving is so dangerous, and because you are supposed to be in control of a large vehicle, it endangers the very lives of all surrounding people. Whether you are the driver, one of their passengers, or an unsuspecting bystander, you are at risk. Let's look at some statistics. The average amount of time that a text distracts you from the road is 5 seconds. If you're driving at 100 kilometers an hour, you will travel up to 139 meters in this time. That's the equivalent of driving 139 meters with a blindfold on, on a highway. In a suburban zone, driving at about 40 kilometers an hour, you will travel up to 55 meters without looking up. If a car stops in front of you, or a child steps onto the road even 40 metres away, you won't even realise. You won't even realise until you're another 10 metres down the road. Text driving is a lose-lose situation. There is nothing significant to be gained by it, but so much can be lost. I cannot stress how unimportant it is. How much does it matter if you're BRB or if you're LOLing? It doesn't even matter if you're on your way or if you'll be there in five. For each one of these pointless texts, your chance of crashing, probability of sustaining a severe injury, and risk of death to anyone around you are all hugely increased. In the United States, it was found that text messaging whilst driving makes a crash up to 23 times more likely. It's about six times more likely to cause an accident than driving intoxicated. In 2011, almost one quarter of all car crashes involved cell phones. That's 1.3 million crashes. There are so many situations in which text driving has ruined the life of a distracted driver, their passengers, or an innocent pedestrian or bystander. And it's not just them who suffers. One death affects the entire community. Next time you pick up your phone in the car, imagine it's your mother, father, brother, sister, son, daughter that you're going to hit just because you had to send someone a quick text. A $100 to $200 fine. That's generally the cost of text driving in the United States. But the reality is that that's the best case scenario for a text driver. What other outcomes are possible? Paraplegia? Death? How about the less tangible things? Anxiety? Depression? A lifetime of regret? If there is so little benefit and such devastating consequences, why do people still continue to text drive? 41% of surveyed teens think that their action will only take a split second. 34% say they are used to multitasking. It's easy, they say. Is this how you justify it? 94% of American drivers say that they support bans on texting whilst driving. So why is it still so prevalent in our society? If so many people disagree with this dangerous activity, then why does over one third of the American driving population still commit the offence? We need to raise awareness of this dangerous distraction before any more lives are endangered.
There are many actions that can be taken by all members of the community to discourage text driving, and everyone can actively support and enforce the ban. All members of the community can help raise awareness and promote car safety. Schools should educate children and teens about the dangers of text driving. We are the upcoming generation, the future of driving. Stop parents from committing the offence and children will be more likely to follow. Half of all kids aged 12 to 17 have been in the car when the driver was texting. We need to have good role models. Obviously, if parents continue to commit the offence, then children are more likely to follow. Parents and friends can also help regulate phone use in the car when the offender is driving, by continuously reminding them to put their phone down when they're in control of the car. Increased measures are being taken by state and national governments to help prevent text driving. But these new policies need support from the community. Support from you to help actively enforce these new laws. So, after all of that, why do you think we should encourage people to make safe choices and stop text driving? We all have our own reasons. For me, it's because we have a responsibility to protect the people around us. Because the risk isn't worth the consequences. You may not think it will happen to you, but it isn't un as unlikely as you think. Next time you go for a drive, turn off your phone. Save lives. Thank you.